Welcome back, everyone. Carmelian Archer here. Time for some more Frostpunk on the Edge. And so I want to address something somebody, several people said in the comments for about two episodes ago, is that I misunderstood what the Coal Thumpers were. In the in the previous, back in the previous builds, I had this like vague memory of there being like crevices that you put the Coal Thumpers on to pull coal out of. But apparently they just go wherever and, and bang coal up out of the ground. And I just forgot, I guess. <laughs> So, oops. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make it, we'll use that eventually. So what, we're three hours until another delivery to um, New London. We got three hours until we got more food coming in, which will be in the early morning hours. We have 10 more people coming in, and this is the yeah, they're going to set up the hot springs, which is still 17 hours away. Three expansions, and I still want ex I still want the escape key to send me back to here from the, ma the map. <laughs> I think I'd know by now. Discontent is not good. I have a little bit of steel. Can I fit a... I'm thinking about oops, sticking another brazier in here somewhere. Where is it? Tech? Put it over here. Would we reach that place in plus uh, p potentially probably two more? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This bunkhouse is cold too, though, unfortunately. I suppose I could put a brazier over there as well. I don't really like the crossover we're getting here, but you know, it is what it is. What are we working on? Sawmill upgrade? What does this need? 75, 25. Because this is where, probably where there's, yeah, insulation, cookhouse insulation. Where's the one, there's usually a thing to expand the range of the braziers. So that's it, probably under heating. Efficient burners. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that next, get to the next level. Alright, for now let's just fast forward. Shipment has reached New London. Also, our food shipment has arrived. So as soon as things kick off in the morning, um, we should be okay. It is going to get warmer soon. Tomorrow, basically. Getting sick. I know, everybody's hungry, everybody's sick. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best here. You guys are doing both, right? Yeah. Meals are being cooked and eaten immediately. Not gonna be able to feed everyone, unfortunately. It's gonna come up real close. 48 out of 59. So close. Oh well. At least the discontent went down for now. It'll go back up when it turns out we can't feed everybody. Oh, we have two days and nine hours to do that. Okay, well, maybe we'll be alright then. Turn you off because you're out of food. Don't hang out in the cold place. Let resources come in for the moment. What what does the thumper need? We have a lot of extra people right now. Coal thumpers just need wood, right? Yeah. Is there any other place for doing gathering? The answer is no, I think. Let's just put it right here next to the other one. We're gonna need a gathering hut as well. We got a lot of extra people, so shouldn't be too bad. Four hours. We got to have ten more people arriving. Just the sawmill upgrade. Right, 
we have what we need for this? Yes, let's do this. Next level of research going. I'm actually, I'm hitting research a lot harder than I usually do in these games. Research is oftentimes kind of lagging a little bit behind. At least everybody who's sick is now in the hospital, so we're moving in the right direction. Construction team has reached hot springs. Build a trading depot. Communicate, no? Alright, I'm guessing that that's it's gonna take a bit. Sir, our people rejoice in the news of food, the food deal with hot springs. We might still have someone somehow return to favor. Do it on our own terms. Okay. So what do we have now? Well, we got still got the New London thing. Try to figure out exactly how this works. Ah, they're going to tell me. Hello, your people did a great job setting up the trading depot so quickly. And now we can start helping each other. We're sending you our surplus food. And when we can more if you provide us resources nearby to expand our settlement. We're grateful if you could assist us in improving our housing and healthcare. That's great. So what do they want? They want 30 wood and 50 steel. Cool. 60 food. All right, I might hold off until after we do our next round of shipping with New London. Oh, I never actually <laughs> never actually put people in these jobs. That was dumb. Um, I don't really want children in the gathering post. Let's put the children. Let's put the children in the cookhouse. That seems safer. We're about to have, I think, 10 more people, and then I can probably take the children out of the cookhouse. Oh, no, the people already came. Never mind. Forgot. Remnants of a building. We would love to eat here. Before the frost was, there was probably a road here that led to some bay to the plains. It must have been a frequent since there is an inn beside her place was undoubtedly nice at the feet of the mountains with a view of the sea on the horizon. That's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out. I remember this place from one of the one of the games. I can't remember which one. Alright. Put children in there. Why not? <laughs> well, I suppose for now we can turn it off because until the thumper thumps out some stuff we don't actually need it. All right, so more in morning when the cookhouse turns back on, there'll be food here. Still have a decent amount of wood. I don't want to wait too long between shipments to New London because I'm worried that they're going to get um, testy if I do. And then they'll pass laws I don't like, is my guess. Alright, we actually think we might be able to feed everybody. What do, what do the bunkhouses need again? Ten steel. I don't really want to use steel right now because I really would like to get a shipment out as soon as possible. Uh, people are starting getting sick again. Probably people from this bunkhouse that's cold.
We continue on finding another settlement, making initial contact with the representatives. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food supply. Screw you. However, we need to remind you that our external connection and food distribution network are to be handled from New London. Immediately cease contact with the hot springs and hand over the raw food you received. That is outrageous. You are not getting that. Bloody bastards. No more masters. Enough is enough. Yeah, you knew this was coming eventually. Sir, the people are rioting. They refuse to follow the orders from New London. No more masters, chants the mob. Enough is enough. A miner waves his mattock in the air. Bloody bastards. They treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us to give up our only hope of survival? No way. People dragged the office workers from the outpost administration to kick them out of the outpost as they stand. Should we intervene and let the clerks prepare for the journey to New, Nun New London? Send them back as they stand. No, I don't want to just send them back. Um, tell our people to back down. I want to send them back, but I don't want to send them back like that. You treacherous scum. Your outpost is officially disbanded and you will be... Tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain loyal citizens of New London. After that, you'll be hauled back in manacles. May God have mercy on your souls. Alex. All right, I guess we're not... We're not doing the mission to New London anymore, huh? In that case... Oh, we... No, we do have enough. All right. Send. Did that send? Hang on. Yes, it did send. Seek help in the Frostlands. With the communication cut, there's no way for us to walk back from the brink. Even if our people cool down and have a second thoughts about the whole independence declaration, we can only prepare to confront... What we must assume will be the punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, we will need much more manpower and resources than we have. Let's try to find new people. Okay. Ask the hot springs for help. Harsh words were said, reckless decisions were made, but we can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching the Frostlands in hopes of finding other people out there. Alone, we have no chance against New London, other than we have just to wait for their move. Okay. So let's call... I just forget how I do this. Communicate. Outpost 11, greetings. What do you want to talk about? We need help against New London. Sorry to hear that we were the cause of your clash with New London. If you help us, we might be able to support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us with setting up basic help, help, health care and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower. Okay. How can we help you? It's the same thing. Okay. Proving a settlement. We were just asked to help develop another settlement. To do so, you need to gather necessary materials and send them as a shipment to the outpost administration, building, and the settlement panel. Okay. Is that maybe Nope, we can't can't do any new laws still, even though we're independent at this point. Well, oh, that's the administration clerk's going back. Okay, I was like, what is that?
See, now I'm wondering if I'm wrong here again. I thought that the thumper made a pile that needed to be processed. Am I remembering this incorrectly now? Does it not make a pile that needs to be processed? Or is it just people just... I'll turn this brazier off for now. I'll get away with turning some of the heaters off. Let's go to the panel here. You don't need a heater right now. You don't need a heater right now. Oh, I forgot to turn this back on. Oops. Alright, since we're not shipping to London, I don't think we really need very many steam cores at the moment. So I might switch back over to pure steel for a bit. A few lucky men. Inside we find a group of people huddled by a big stove. They say that they were re rescued by Nansen from a whaling ship trapped in ice right before the Great Storm. The Great Explorer brought them here and ventured further north to study the changes brought on by the Great Storm. They survived thanks to a store of fuel and rations found nearby, which is running out. Let's just bring them back. So that didn't actually work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I wanted it to, I was trying to uh, fill it strictly with healthy people, but it seems to have clear, filled it entirely with sick people. So that's great. Crafting machines, okay. Thirty-three percent less coal. Make the houses warmer. Who's this? Oh, we can make automatons. Kind of forgot it's automatons because it wasn't in the last expansion. Healthcare insulation, infirmary, cookhouse insulation. Let's get efficient burners first. That's probably the most bang for the buck. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. See, I thought there was a, a thing where it made a it made a pile that needed to be gathered. Okay, I'm gonna switch back over to steel. We don't need, we only have, we don't have a need for many steam cores at the moment. So, we'll just get steel instead. So I think I might run, eh, actually never mind. So we got trees, you know, we're getting a little low on trees, but we still got them. Uh-oh, ch child engine at work. Oops. Yeah, let them take the day off. Be careful around those knives, kids. All right, good. The coal's coming in now. Shipment has reached the hot springs, great. And their food shipment has come back to us, which we actually are running a surplus for a change. Look at that, that's crazy. All right, we just had new people come in. Are we free? Now that New London no longer controls our affairs, many of our people say they feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost their guidance and support, but we gained independence. 
don't have to do their bidding. Ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and do what we want. There's a petition to change the name of our settlement since we no longer an outpost. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. Do I get to decide it? Frostcomb. Now this is uh, this is Cromulent Town. Alternates, potentially Archervania. Oh, so the people aren't here yet. They're, they're coming. Well, we should probably prepare for that, actually, now that I think about it. Let's put a couple of houses here. You could send... Let's send... Basic Dwellings. Oh, oh, I think I'm about to crash. Yep. This thing game, I've had this problem before. Every once in a while, it crashes. Let's see how far back it is. I don't know when the last autosave was. You used to have a crash that would happen a lot of times when you would go to the overhead map. I got into the habit of saving it on a fairly regular basis. I have a feeling that just said day 14. Which, if that's the case, we're way back. All right, come on, game. Please don't be too far back. Oh, we haven't even broken with New London yet. All right, well, that sucks. All right, I'm going to stop here today, um, and I guess we'll pick it up again next time. Thanks so much.